idea of what I'm gonna do to tame it down some and it is kind of frizzy because I kind of separate the braids a little too much just like with natural hair if you do too much separate it frizzes up on you so anyway let me just go ahead and get right to it okay I'm trying to make this fast the night before I did my braid I washed my hair well I co-washed my hair my hair was clean I co-washed my hair with this Tresemme Naturals um, I've heard a lot of naturals talk about this and say good things about it and you know what I really like it so far from using it so this was a good product so I co-washed it with this I'm sorry guys if I seem a little distracted so I co-washed my hair with the Tresemme Naturals and then I used the lock method basically to um, moisturize my hair and the liquid I use this time is just water mixed with the Tresemme Naturals. I just put it in this little spray bottle. So that's what I use for my moisturizer, my L. And for my oil, I use the Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine, just as I used the last time in my video when I showed you all the lock method. And the cream I use is the exact same too. Olive oil, mango butter moisturizer by Elastic QP. So, I did that and then I did some braids all over my head and let that dry and it took about a day and a half for that to completely dry so Friday night when I got home I went ahead and braided up my hair uh, for the this look and I did show you previously you saw my braid pattern that I used can't remember how many I put in the front or how many I put in the back, but you know, you saw the pictures, the uh, footage. So anyway, the hair that I did use is the Marley hair, and I have not used this hair before, but I believe I really like it. It is, um, it's called Jamaica Braid First Class Hair, and it is by the Bobby Boss Collection. So, and it is in color number one, because you guys know I dyed my hair jet black recently. So, and what I use for this style is two full packs, and I would say about one-fourth of the third pack. So, two and a fourth pack, and really you can get away with doing this with two packs, period, because um, each strand... I'm gonna demonstrate so you guys know how the Marley braid hair comes when it comes it's in like one whole long section like this so as you can see I cut it in half and so with that one half I can make uh, four pieces with this one half now on my bottom back row I did not separate it into fours I only separated this into two separate pieces for the crochet braid but had I done four pieces with the bottom row one or two bags would have been more than enough for me to use but anyway so this is how I do it so I just pull the hair at the end some just to loosen it up so it can separate and see there's two pieces okay I take one of the two pieces separated again and then what I do is I half them into each other about like this and I take that and I crochet it in and I did show you all my crochet method in the footage you just previously saw so that is one piece and that would be another piece so separate it into four different pieces to use and I will say that I really like this style it is does mimic natural hair really well uh, 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 aside from how big it is right now which I am going to fix in just a bit and um, to do that I plan to 
First of all, I'm going to take some oil and put on um, each section and then I'm going to braid it and re-dip it in hot water and hopefully that helps and tames the frizz. Now, the reason I think that it is so big is because my braids, I had like several braids, you know, I'd say at least 15 to 20 or maybe even 25 braids. And then I dipped it. So, you know, the more braids you have, like, the more picking, it just gets bigger and bigger. But I am about to tame that down and probably have far less braids than that. Re-dip it. I'm going to have the oil on it, which I've used oil before on my synthetic hair when I dip. And I do kind of like the way it feels after when you use the oil. I don't know what kind of oil I'm going to use. Maybe extra virgin olive oil. I'm not going to use my coconut oil. I'm going to use the oil that um, is plentiful around here. Because I'm kind of running low on my coconut oil. So I'll probably use some EVO. I don't want to use castor oil that's far too heavy. But probably some EVO is what I'll use. I do not know how long I'm going to keep this hairstyle. I mean, I get hot really easily. So, you know, who knows, you guys, how that's going to go. But hopefully when I read dip it it'll tame down quite a bit because initially what I planned to do is do these crochet Marley hair Havana twists but I didn't think that was gonna work out the way I wanted it to so I didn't even attempt it so I don't know how long it actually took me to do this style because I started stop started stop but I will tell you I got it all done in one day which is not typical when I'm using doing like regular braids or regular uh, kinky twist plus I ran all those errands and everything and I was completely done and finished including dipping in hot water and all that like I was in the bed at 10 p.m. last night completely done with it okay so if that kind of gives you an idea so anyway guys I hope you like it I can't remember if there's anything else I want to tell you about the hair but I don't want this video to be like 50 hours long so, thanks you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below because I'm kind of like scattered right this moment. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.